everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last episode I tried to go in here and I got thrown out. There's no vote allowed apparently. Um, and we got a memory with Zelda and Link. Um, let's talk to this dude. Oh, I was so focused just now. Do you have business with me? Are you spying? What? No, no I'm not a spy. I'm a merchant. I may not look like it, but I'm actually the leader of a caravan. I've traveled all the way here, but this town doesn't allow men to go in. So that's why I had to, um, are you spying? It's research, research, and think what you want. But I finally found some key info on how to get, how to sneak into the Gerudo town. What info? Oh. <laughs> well, allow me to share with you my heroic tale been close to a week now. The guards have kicked me out more times than I can count. I almost gave up hope. However, I have learned only recently of a man that slipped into this well-guarded town. I heard that the man is frequently traveling between Karakara Bazaar and Gerudo Town. I've been waiting here trying to spot him as he travels. Okay, Benja. So, where do I have to go? Oh, it just points me to the dude. So, let's go do the shrine, because I kind of want to do it. Um, so, last episode we did cook some elixirs, so, um, like heat-resistant elixirs and stuff. So I am good to, um, you know, heat and stuff like that. The whole picture. Ugh. So, electricity, boom, looks like I need something else. Oh, wait a minute, take that off, put that one there. And then we'll put this one here. And then, that'll open up another barrel. So then I could take this, I put this here. I put this one here. Here. And then we'll take the barrel and put it right in this small little crevice here. And then we'll take the block, stick it there. And that will unlock a chest. A chest. What the heck? That was. I clicked open. I clicked open, but it didn't open. Your inventory's full. Oh my god. Um. That's something I could get rid of. That's rubbish. I'll get rid of this hammer. This, ha this weapon is better anyway. I mean, it does 22 damage. It's pretty good. I'll just equip this. Um, so after this, I need two more spirit orbs, and then I can get the master sword. This is a pretty easy shrine, let's be honest. So, can we use the chest, because it's magnetic? I can't. I can also use the weapon, too. I don't know if I'll need it, but... All right, so we put the barrel down here, and I'll put this barrel down over here. Okay, so you do need the chest for this because look, oh, never mind. Look, there's another little tiny spot over there, so you do need the chest for this. So if you're thinking, oh, I can, I don't need the chest for this, you do. So. Uh, yeah, so we push that in there, and then we got another block, and then it looks like if I put it up there, it'll go all the way up, so maybe the door will open. Oh, and well, I'll probably need the other block. I mean, let's be honest, if you need the one block, you'll probably need the other one. So, and then I'll put that one there. And then the door is going to open. Then I'll 
be done. So I'm just gonna fast forward to you guys when we come out of the shrine. So here we go. Alright guys, so we are coming out of the shrine right now. So I guess we gotta go to Kara Kara Bazaar. Kara Kara Bazaar. So I guess I'm gonna go all the way back. It's becoming daytime. It's nice. Had to do the whole last episode at night. Can't believe they don't they won't let me in. I'm willing to help them to get their city under control and they won't let me in. Like, come on. Oh wait, I can just whistle run. So I showed this a couple episodes ago. If you just mash B, like you could whistle run like this there we go and it, it, it's much faster but because we're in sand like it doesn't work there we go it's just gonna keep popping up with it seems birdie game can hear your call but yeah i'll show you guys how to do that in a future video Maybe after I complete the game. But if you really have, if you have the game, just look it up on YouTube. If you're dying to know it already. So, I'm assuming it's here. Like, because they, they said they travel between here and Gerudo Town. So, what's this? A volt fruit. Cacti. So now I can run a little faster because I'm on rocks. So. Oh, wait, there's ladders here. The ladder up there. Let's go up here. Okay. I can still climb up without the ladder. So that's kind of nice. Is this it? Hee 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 hee. Oh my, what a lovely young lad you are. Do you need something from me? <laughs> What's that? You've heard about a man who snuck into Gerudo Town? <laughs> oh, I don't know anything about him. Sorry, I couldn't be more help. Study her face. Oh. <laughs> You're making my cheeks warm looking at me like that. You're very beautiful. <laughs> Oh, such a nice thing to say. And I'm sure you'd agree that these clothes only help my looks, right? Now that I think about it, this style would look quite fetching on you. I'd have to charge you, of course, but I bet people would see you completely differently. What do you think? Do you want to buy them for 600 rupees? No thanks, I don't have them. <laughs> so, I mean, I could find someone to sell them to. Sell stuff. So, like, maybe there's someone in here. Ma'am, can I sell to you? I want to sell. So, what do you want to sell? Um, let's sell all my amber. Because I have 22. Yeah, that should be enough. So, now let's go. Let's build the siding. Do you need anything else? Nothing. So, let me leave. Go get the lady clothing. Her link. So I could probably just buy it somewhere else. I just don't know where to go. Okay. I want to buy it from you now. Uh, study your face. Blah, 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 blah. You're very beautiful. I have to do everything. I'll take them. It's a deal then. I'll take your rupees. I still have 110 left. So let's see how Link looks. Oh my god, I am a lady. Hi. Eee! <laughs> you look adorable! Mm. Ah, hee hee, just as I thought. You make for a quite a good looking gal. That's a traditional Gerudo outfit. It's such a striking look around here, I doubt anyone would even suspect that you're a man. On top of that, it breathes so well that it's sure to help you deal with the desert heat at least a little. Oh. 
I'm so glad I was able to help you out. You're free to grab something to eat sometime. Keep me in mind. Uh-oh, it's a guy, isn't it? <laughs> Make sure you watch out for the wind. So, basically, I don't, I don't need that heat resistance stuff. If you want to get more lady clothing, come back anytime. So this is what I look like. I look like a girl. Um, so I'm just gonna fast travel back. I'm not gonna... There we go. I am not going to run all that distance again. Okay. So, let's go in. Hopefully they don't throw me out. Uh, hopefully they'll let me in with, like, all the swords and shields on their back. You guys aren't gonna kick me out, right? Right? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, and I'm in! It was pretty easy. <laughs> For Forbidden City entry completes. Um, so, like, I could buy stuff here. That's nice. Bolt fruit. Hardy durian. 60 rupees! Oh my god. So, I can, like, buy stuff, so that's kind of nice. What are those? Wait a minute, I could've just bought the clothing. Ugh. See, I could've just bought the clothing. Okay, so let's go up to where we're supposed to go, which is up here if we look on here. I don't have the thing activated. Uh, free the divine beasts. I have to go here. And that's on my mini-map over here. Okay. Riju, Gerudo Chief. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Oh. Seems you have something rather interesting there. Okay. You stand before Lady Riju Chief of the Gerudo. Declare your business, but come no closer. Hold on, Bulearia. This one appears to be more than a common traveler. You there. What is your name? Link. Link. And what is you've come all the way to here to tell me, Link? I can calm the Boris. You think you have what it takes to su subdue something so powerful as a divine beast? The only one who could ever control them were the champions like Lady Urbosa. And all of the champions died in the Calamity 100 years ago. Hmm, hmm Valeria, a memory just jumped into my head. Something my mother spoke of. When the Calamity happened, the Princess of Hyrule placed a fallen swordsman into a deep sleep. That swordsman, much like our new friend here, was named Link, though it always seemed more legend than fact. But Lady Riju, do those same stories not always say that the Hylian champion carried a legendary sword? I see no such weapon, weapon in this person's care. Hmm. They do indeed. If I shall recall correctly, it was called the Sword that Seals the Darkness. The Prince of, of Hyrule supposedly hid it away in the Lost Woods. Hmm. What of the device on this one's hip, it appears to be a precious relic of the Sheikah. I can't imagine they would give something so valuable to a simple drifter, can you? Mm. I don't remember ever hearing of a Hylian Vi among the champions. Huh? Wait a moment, you're a Vo! Oh no! <laughs> a Vo within our walls is a great crime, but a Vo who is a champion? Well, we never mistreat a friend of Lady Urbosa, and if you're here to help, us with the Noboris, then we are allies. Huh? You saw it on your way to, ta to our town. Divine Beast von Noboris cloaked in a massive sandstorm, hurling lightning at anyone who dare approach. Hmm. We have to do something to stop it, but we have yet to find any way to appease the Divine Beast on our own. If you truly are a champion, perhaps you will be able to enter Noboris and calm its anger. Mm. Lady Riju, I don't see how you could trust a complete stranger with something as important as his task. Perhaps if this person were first to prove his worth by recovering your stolen Thunderhound. Mm. Ah, yes, an interesting suggestion. 
You see, there's only one thing in all Hyrule that can withstand the lightning from the Boris. The Thunderhelm, a family heirloom and relic of the Gerudo. But as Beleria said, it was stolen from us. You needn't worry, Lady Riju. If he truly is a champion, this should be an easy task for him. Oh. Our soldiers can tell you all you need to know about the thieves who stole Lady Riju's heirloom. Head through the arch, it will lead you to the barracks, then seek out our Captain Teak and ask for a full report. Mm. So I guess we'll do that in the next video, everybody. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.